<gasps> Good morning, everybody. It is the day. We are flying to Europe today, and I want to show you everything that I'm bringing with me this time. One of the biggest problems I had in Europe is that they don't have access to Amazon. They don't have access to the same like level of markets that we do. I have Amazon here, and so I have purchased a lot of really cool things. Let me start off with the coolest. See this right here? You see this little tiny square? This little, little like size of my palm square? This is an air pump. Let me turn it on. One of the most annoying things when I was riding my bike is having to pump up my tires, having that little tiny thing, having to and then take it off and then put the pressure gauge on, see if I got it right, and then take that off and pump them up again. I would say it took me maybe 45 minutes to actually pump up my tires. So one of the things that I wanted while I was here is an electric air pump. The thing is, most electric air pumps are massive. This is another one. A company sent this to me. They want me to review it. This is also an electric air pump, and it's like the size of my forearm. That's not great. I found one that is so tiny. Look at this. I can. This gets rid of the pump and the actual air gauge because you can set the pressure that you want it to go at and then it'll just go to that pressure. This is such a cool product. I think it was $45. I'm gonna have a link for this in the description if you want one of these, but so glad to actually have this. Another thing that I'm gonna be bringing with me is foam protectors for my GoPros. When I'm riding and my GoPros are on my bike and they're sitting there, a lot of wind is blowing out of the microphones. It makes the audio kind of trash. Having these will make the audio better. So you'll get some good, get some good audio quality. You see these right here? These are a GoPro extender arms one of the things that i noticed is that when i'm riding my gopro on my handlebars is way down low and so it's like looking up at my face using these i'll be able to raise the gopro up and i'll be able to get like better pov shots i got another pump for my bed except this one actually has a light on it so i can hang this up in my tent and i can have a light and i can have an air pump Oh, I mentioned this in an earlier video, but I got a new phone. Do you guys remember last time I was on my bike and I ended up losing one of my phones in a hotel? This phone right here has something that should potentially be able to fix that. This has Google's Find My Network. Google basically released a similar competitor to the Apple AirTag situation. They put it in their phone, the Pixel 8, but this should work when the phone is off. So even if I leave this at a hotel, if I leave this at a campsite somewhere and the battery dies, I should still be able to find it. So, so the chances of me losing this phone are pretty slim. I am bringing my sleeping bag, the new tent, a new inflatable bed. Nobody is fucking stealing this one. I have still got to get all of my clothes packed up. I'm not bringing a lot of clothes because I know that I can buy clothes when I get there. So I'm bringing a couple shirts, a couple pairs of pants. I still cannot believe I was able to get this bag for 59 cents. Okay, now before we can actually head out, I need to show you guys what we're doing with the car. You guys will remember that I originally planned to store this in a shed that I was going to build out in the New Mexican desert, but this whole Norway thing came out of nowhere, so I haven't had time for that. What we're going to do instead is I'm just going to leave it with a friend. I'm going to be leaving the car with Rachel. You guys might remember her. She lives in Chicago. She needs a car. I'm flying out from Chicago. I need somebody who needs a car. Let me walk you through all of the important stuff that you need to know. Okay, move the bag. Here in the glove box, Okay. We have the important documentation. You Wonderful. have registration. Yes. This is the deed in case you like, get in a crash and you need to deal with insurance. Okay. This is insurance. You have a spare set of keys and Wonderful. a key fob. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we have Christmas lights in here. Uh, you turn them on in the back, you might not need that. I doubt you will. Do you know how to get to the train station from here? Oh, absolutely. It's yes, so on. there's uh, protests going on right now, uh, protesting the Palestine situation. So they're blocking the roads to the airport. We need to take the train to get into the airport so that we can avoid all of that and actually make the flight. Yeah, aside from the whole windshield, but you know, if you see a cop, just do the whole thing, yeah. I will, I was actually <laughs> looking it up. They said it's like only a problem. It's only illegal if it actually obstructs your view. Considering that is my eye level, we'll see what happens, <laughs> but. She's gonna parallel park, and this is gonna be the first time my car has probably ever been parallel parked. I don't actually know how to do it. It is a very long car. That's one of the reasons I like it, so, you know. Oh, it's a very long car? At least I think it's a long car. I don't know. If we hear a bump, let's just drive really fast. Huh, you're so funny. Okay, we need to walk to the train station, but I'm doing that thing where I wear my jacket so that they're not counted for, like, extra baggage, and it's really hot right now, so that's just gonna fucking suck. Yeah, so I'm gonna be miserable. I'm gonna smell terrible, but this is the cost you bear for traveling cheaply. Go over the car one last time. I got my passport. Okay. I think we're good. Goodbye, car. Go, 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 go. Woo. All right, five minutes. So, do they have like ticket inspectors? Do they have somebody that's gonna try to verify that like we actually pay it? How do they know we didn't just jump over the railing then? Oh, uh, it's a pretty large railing. <laughs> it's a pretty large, we're pretty small people. Doors closing. 
that train was only two dollars and fifty cents. Sure. <laughs> I've got a camera person for the next five minutes. <laughs> got a Nathaniel. <laughs> you here? How are you? Adios. Thank you for taking me. You're so welcome. Be safe. Yeah. I take care of the car. What do you think the chances are the car is still in functional order by the time we get back? I'm not sure when I'll be coming back, but what do you guys think the chances are? I've decided that this bag is really heavy. This does not bode well. Okay. Um, no, probably not. There's a tent in there. Don't poke yourself, I don't know. I had to throw away my sunscreen, which I just purchased. Okay, we're gonna measure our bags before we actually need to board the flight so we can see if uh, we need to rearrange our clothing. Okay, so if we wanna count this as our personal item, we need to make it thinner. Now let's see if this can work as a carry-on. Okay, yeah, this one should be fine. Yeah, okay, so this one works. It's just a backpack that we've gotta thin up. Let's take the lens, the camera. Okay. Okay, test number two. Still got to be thinner. Okay, there we go, we got it. It's a little squished, but it fits. Oh, okay, let's go. Okay, we need to go really, really fast because our next flight is currently boarding and we still need to go through passport control. By some sort of luck, we were at the front of the plane so we were able to get off quickly and there should be less of a line at passport control. Okay, made it through passport control. Good. We have not missed it. We made the flight. This one is only a four hour flight. Now we have one more flight to catch today, but before we do that, we need to find a storage locker so that we can store this because I'm not taking this with me to the Arctic Circle. It says that the storage lockers are in the parking lot, so I think we need to leave the airport to get there. Nothing to declare. I'm looking at the exchange rates here and the exchange places in the airport are steep. They're charging like a 20% commission. Okay, we are looking for something storage locker-y. Okay, I believe this is it. They only let you rent these for seven days at a time, but I think that we will only be here for seven days. We're only gonna be in the Arctic Circle for seven days, so we'll come back here and then pick it up. And these are definitely big enough lockers to fit my tiny little bag. They give different rates for different sized lockers, so I think that we should get one of the smaller ones. I could probably fit it in one of these guys. I wish I could open up one of these smaller ones so I could see if it does actually fit. Okay, so update. We only pay for one day right now, and then when we want to actually take it out, we pay the remaining days. Okay, so 90 knock, so it costs like $9 a day. Okay, this is us, locker 157. Okay, I will bring my jacket with me. I will leave the sleeping bag in the tent. I will bring this battery pack, just because I feel like it's probably gonna be useful. Okay, we will come back for this in seven days. So it'll cost about $70 to keep my bags there for the week that we're gonna be here. Security in Norway goes way faster than security in America. Have I ever mentioned how much I hate airports? They're charging $30 for a burger. Welcome to Norwegian Flight 7. Okay, that is the last of our flights. Now we need to get on a train to get into the main part of the city. Apparently train in Norwegian is Tog. So the town that we're going to is called Trondheim. It's like a university town. We're not staying there very long because tomorrow we are taking a much longer train into the Arctic Circle. <laughs> English. Single ticket. Train ticket is like five-ish dollars. Dope. <laughs> Now I just need to figure out which side is the right side.
We are almost done with traveling for today. We just need to find our way to the hotel now. You got a Burger King, you got a Subway. It's not that different. One thing I'm noticing is that the guys aren't as tall as I thought they would be. In my head, I thought Norwegians were like six foot tall behemoths and they're just like normal people. Then again, I haven't seen anybody that is my height or shorter, so maybe they are all tall. Here we are, a place called Scandic Blanket. Why, hello. Everybody, this is Jackie. Hi, Internet. <laughs> yes, hello. How's it going? So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna put our bags down and then we're gonna go find a store to figure out how much Diet Coke costs because <laughs> the stuff at the airport was like $5 a bottle, which is ridiculous. She is going to be our tour guide. She already planned this whole thing out. She's got everything booked. We're basically just following her. She is also a content creator and she saw my uh, videos in Alaska and she's like, wait a minute. Hey, I bet you would like this other thing we've got planned up in Norway. So she messaged me and we got this whole thing planned. <laughs> this looks like a convenience store. It's called the Bun Press. <laughs> So the exchange rate here is roughly 10 to one. So 26 uh, Norwegian Kron means this is about $2.60, which is insane. That's more expensive than America. We will try some Norwegian candy, some Hallen shots and a sandwich for five bucks. They don't have any cashiers. The whole thing is just like a self checkout. So one of the first takeaways is that if I wanted to use cash, if I brought like Norwegian Krone with me, I would not have been able to purchase this because that store was digital only. That's not great because I brought a bunch of cash. I still need to go to a currency exchange place. They had one at the airport, but they were doing just terrible things. They had like a 20% commission. So I will need to convert my USD to Norwegian Krones here somewhere. And I just need to hope that they're less scammy. Okay, I'm not sure if this is the end of the vlog because I know that she has been up for like 24 hours and she is trying to sleep. So I think I might need to be... I don't remember which room is ours. Fuck. I don't want to just go swipe my card on each door and see which one opens. That feels kind of invasive. I hope she's awake. I'm going to text her and maybe she can remind me. She is not awake, so that's exactly what we're going to do. Oh, it turned green. Hey, I picked the right one. Cool. So that means that this uh, country is about seven times as expensive as Turkey is. Like in Turkey, you can get the big bottle of Diet Coke for like 60 cents. Okay, I'm pretty sure that these are just like knockoff brand sour worms, but we're gonna try some Halon shots. Oh, they look like little, little bottles. Whoa. That's actually fantastic. Ooh, that's really sour. The candy is also really firm to, mm really firm too like if you think about a sour patch kid how how mushy that is how easy it is to chew through this is like twice as thick as a sour patch kid mm. okay so they have provided us one extra pillow but i'm gonna go down to the front desk and get a blanket because we're not sleeping together i want to make that abundantly clear wait where's the card do 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 card we are in room 202. <laughs> this hotel has like a rentable umbrella Okay, they will bring the blanket up to us. They call them duvets here. Maybe duvet is just like a French blanket. <laughs> okay, we got the blanket. The water's so calm. There's a couple of ducks earlier. The birds. You guys can't see this on video, but it is very cold right now. Do you guys want to see what a Norwegian shopping mall looks like? <laughs> 12 hours ago, it was almost 90 degrees. And I'm cold again. I don't like it. What do you guys think the chances are Norway is one of those countries that charges you for the restrooms? Nope, totally free. And because I can't stop myself, Karuna, Sweden, makes the iron ore capital of the world. And it's part of the reason that you can get to Norway, Narvik, Norway, by train through Sweden because Bodo, Buda, is the last stop on Norway's train system, even though there's a whole bunch of shit that goes to north. Norway's like, we can't get up there. But Sweden needed a way to um, sell their iron ore and they didn't want to go all the way back down to Stockholm. So, like, hey, can we cut across and use your port in Narvik? And Norway was like, yeah, dude, good nuts. 
So that's how you can get to Narvik, Norway through Sweden. What do you think this big machine is? That's Some of this definitely looks newer. This isn't rusted the same way that other parts of this are. Elon Musk is. Elon Musk is fucking South African. <laughs> no, it's honestly, there are so many Teslas here. Like, you guys don't even know. It's crazy. And it upsets me because all of these people are giving Elon Musk money. Fuck him. Okay, I think that is it for the day. Did you get the pictures you wanted? Got them, you? Yes. I will catch you guys tomorrow. We, what time are we getting on the train? Uh, leaves 10 to 8. So 10 to 8, so we need to get up before 8 o'clock. Oof.